So recently guys, I have tried the cursor AI for test automation and my productivity exploded. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we are using cursor AI, especially a editor specially made for to use AI directly into your code. It can help you in your debugging, your code reviews and multiple things. I'm going to show you exactly how you can generate a full framework in this editor, which is very similar to Visual Studio code. By the way, it is made on Visual Studio code, how you can basically generate functions and how we have generated full selection java framework without even typing anything only by using the vibe coding what is a vibe coding also we are going to discuss also i'm going to discuss about five important tips how exactly you can use cursor ai especially for your dash automation definitely you are going to love it let's get started okay first of all guys idea number one so how we are using it right so special one is for intelligent code completion faster development and instances right for example this is our framework that we have already created i can ask this anytime that for example if you use composer composer is something which will basically can change your file application it can delete files it can create files it can do multiple things i'm going to show you a couple of things for example i can ask composer to create some files also for example let's do one thing uh, create a another another page object model class for the dashboard dashboard page in this framework right i'm just asking it this is called as vibe coding which is basically recently used now you will see a magical thing will happen automatically it will figure it out okay this is the dashboard page uh, class that i need to add and automatically voila you will see a magic if i click on accept by using the composer you will see a fresh class automatically created for you where you can add where you can delete we can you do multiple things also right i mean this is amazing features that you can basically do especially with this so this is called as the creation part how exactly you can use it how to install cursor ai let me go through them like how exactly you can use so first of all if you want to use it just go to cursor ai what is this it is a ai code editor which is right now becoming very very popular we have windsurf also another option or intellij is something we are not using it because we have to use github copilot which is again has a paid features but cursor ai is also paid but we have lot of free features which are available like uh, up to 2000 completion you will get more than which is more than enough for you if you want to use it right now we have a plan i'm using a plan which is 20 dollar a month but trust me the things that i'm going to get in this is amazing right apart from this you can use ai assistant to create your full framework also you can set up a page object model you can basically add extend report hello report you can ask whatever he wants to add right you can configure the browser management also here in the same thread i'm going to tell you like how exactly i have created this full framework by only typing only giving the instruction by my voice or by typing that's it i have not created this framework guys from scratch this framework is already created by this cursor ai so i have basically told to set up a project with maven or uh, test ng allo report apache poi azert and quick start project so automatically it has created the files pom.xml automatically it has added all the latest dependency automatically it has created jenkins files git ignore files pom.xml as well as source and main folder also after that it has told me that this is the structure of the framework that i have created after that i have basically told and this is the project structure by the way of my framework which framework i create i have just told him that this is a framework that i want and trust me it has given me all the files all the files guys you cannot imagine all the driver manager automatically it was handled by the thread local support automatically it has added the file property page object models test classes and even added the jenkins file to run on jenkins automatically right after that i have told to delete all basically deletion is not allowed of course i told him to create a new login page because we are working on a page then i have told him to create couple of other functions uh, how if you can basically create a listeners it can basically has created create now another important thing which i wanted to show you in the third part also that you can have your real time code analysis and optimization you can have a seamless integration you can refactor your code optimize code you know you can just chat with the code for example in this one suppose i am at a driver manager i will just add this context that i want to work on driver manager i will just try optimize this file more okay so it will just try to optimize this file more as compared right so it will just analyze the code whatever i have written and it will automatically do had uh, basically what are the things it has added it has added a constant locators error handling descriptive method and logging so if, if i click accept automatically you will see the magic which is automatically the it changes are made on the dashboard files as well as it is going to manage on different files also so if you can see on the driver managers uh, or even in dashboard page also it has added couple of error handling and automatically the logging as well as the what are the things 
which is API doc uh, documentation also automatically does it, right? So this is one of the tool which I recommend all of you to try it. Now I'm going to show you a perfect demo how you can do it by yourself. For example, you can create a new project. So let's create, so go to the cursor, let's create a, a new window, right? You can create a new project. So let's create a new project of, this is a suppose API automation framework that I want to create. API automation framework, framework by AI that I want to create. Now same commands and everything you need to basically tell him, right? So same command which I have basically used. You just come here, right? Uh, this is this is your, by the way, this is your window that you have, right? What you need to do is there is a shortcut of command L. It will open the composer. If you are using windows, I think the shortcut will be different. It is control L. You just type the command that create. Uh, so here the same command, which basically we have basically gone, right? Which I am using, which is this control S. I'm going to use this. Okay. Create a set up a project of Maven test engineer, Apache, Apache POI and dependency and click start product. I just click on enter and automatically just see the magic. Now it will start automatically adding the pom.xml. You can see right now it is creating the pom.xml. It will create the, it will add the test engine XML. Keep adding the things. You will see the magic that automatically it has added all the things, right? I will just accept it. Now I will ask him to create a folder structure also. So you can ask him to create a folder structure like this. So I want you to create like this, create a directory structure like this. So he will basically now create it. So it is like, this is called as the vibe coding, everyone, where you just tell the editor what you want to do. It will automatically start doing everything for you, right? So automatically you will see that a project structure and everything. So apply to POM and everything. You can basically now ask to create. So create, create the main uh, source folder, SRC folder, main folder and test folder like the quick start, quick start Maven project, right? So it will now keep doing it. I mean, you can ask, you can, you have to just talk to the editor. It will say, it will do the same things again to do it. It will keep doing it. It will again ask you, okay, that, okay, that uh, this is how the structure will look like. Should I create it? Should I, should we want me to do it? Right. If you accept it automatically, it will start doing it and it will create for you guys also. For example, you can see it has started created. So similar way, I'm just telling you that I have created a full automation framework by talking to him, right? Same thing you can do. Of course, this is called as the vibe coding, which is nothing but a natural language uh, interaction. You can also do a voice. For example, if I say, uh, if I press double this, uh, I can do voice to text also, and I can say the same thing. For example, let me show you also create a function to check if element is visible or not in the dashboard page, right? So this is what I have told it. It is now converted voice to text and now it will automatically add a function. You can see on a dashboard page automatically it is going to add is element visible function. Can you can see that <laughs> guys see the magic. I mean, this is how the AI is now you can see the magic, right? Similarly, you can do error detections. You can do easier for debugging. Also, this is how we are using error uh, cursor dot AI. You can chat with your code to find the errors also. For example, if you can select that dashboard page, uh, fix the error. If you are getting some error, fix the error. I am getting in this code uh, while running this file. So it will start running this and it will just test it out and basically do this thing for you. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Do give it a try to cursor AI for test automation. We are using it and I hope you are going to use and love it. All right. Thanks for watching. Please give a like and subscribe. I will add a more details version how to create a test automation framework. If you need to create a full framework, you want to see. Yes, sir, I want to see a full test automation creation by using cursor AI from scratch without typing a zero code. Let me know. I will definitely create a video around it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.